It is a beautiful Monday. I'm just in St. Stephen's Green, got my matcha, going for a walk, listen to some music, and yeah, and then I'll like start studying later at some point. The color of that door, obsessed. So cute. I'm just gonna drop this film into calm cameras for Lauren. Uh, Dublin is empty. It is a ghost town at the minute. Oh, I miss Grogan's. Please open. I'm just really feeling my outfit. Hat handmade from a girl in New York. Coat vintage from a friend. Bag also vintage. Sweatpants for Annie Melville. And <laughs> gone to Garthorne's Converse. Super cute. <laughs> It is a new week. It is a beautiful morning. I'm feeling really good today. And we're in the kitchen because we're gonna make some soup. I have been on my soup game this January and my mom has converted me. It is just so great. It's really cold. So getting like a nice, warm, hearty soup going, just, it's just really doing it for me. So today we're trying a new soup, very exciting times. It is a one pot everyday vegan lentil soup by The Minimalist Baker. I'll have it linked here and down below if you guys wanna try it as well. I will probably just be following it a bit loosely because I don't really like to follow measurements. We're just gonna start with chopping up the garlic and the onions and the carrot and celery, seasoning them a little bit, adding some salt and pepper. I might add some chili just to give it a little bit of spice and heat and maybe a little bit of like tomato puree. And then we're gonna saute that for a little bit. It says four to five minutes or until slightly tender. Be careful not to burn garlic. I'm so bad at burning garlic. I just think, because we don't have gas, stove it's like so hard to get the temperature right on the little flat ones and then i'll cut up the potatoes season them and stir it in and cook and then prepare some vegetable broth and add in more kind of spices and rosemary and thyme and then i have to add in the lentils and stir once simmering again reduce heat to low and simmer uncovered for 15 to 20 minutes or until lentils and potatoes are tender so exciting let's make some soup <laughs> Oh, that feels like a hug. I love soup. I, you know, I'm gonna text my mum right now. This week's soup, lentil, potato, peel. So I added a little bit of ginger whenever I was um, sauteing the onions and garlic because I love fresh ginger and I had some. And what else did I change? Added a bit of cumin with the potatoes and some lemon juice at the end. So technically guys, we are in our final week of Veganuary, which is just mad. I feel like January flew by, but I think I might continue with eating plant-based because I find it pretty easy. I didn't have to make too many swaps. The main thing I had to cut out was eggs because I'd usually like have poached eggs a few days a week. I really enjoyed like trying new recipes 
I think especially with like Asian and Indonesian food, it is quite easy to make it vegan because like tempeh, tofu, you have so many good substitutes. I'm not going to be 100% strict with it though. Like if I was eating out, I might order fish if there wasn't any good vegan options or there might be cheese if there's a cheese board and I want to eat it. Um, but are those things going to be happening anytime soon? Probably not. I think that's the important thing is to make small swaps and don't be like too hard on yourself and don't try and like change your whole diet at once if it's something that you're not used to. Anyway, today I'm kind of taking it easy and working from home. I love like starting off the week working from home instead of going to the library because sometimes it's just too intense and I'm going to do like some long shifts in the library this week to get started on my dissertation. Finally, I am gonna say this, I'm gonna write 2,000 words by the end of this video, I think. Super exciting news. Kath and Cass are coming back, my flatmates. They're doing all their tests and they're getting the ferry. Abby's driving and then they're gonna get tested whenever they're here in quarantine. But I am so excited to have people in the apartment. I've been doing a lot of talking to myself, a lot of um, yelling at my computer and dancing on my own. So I think it'll be good to have some company. Tonight we're having leftovers. I made this curry yesterday. It's basically the one that I made in my last What I Eat in a Day, but didn't have any chickpeas, so I just put in some potato and got some rice. So I'm just gonna heat that up. Good morning. I just did a Chloe Ting workout. We're gonna do some Pilates. It's gonna be lovely. I look like a child. <laughs> We're just gonna make some cafe. Cafe, cafe, cafe. Let's put you here. I'm so bad at this YouTube. It's Tuesday, which used to be my favorite day whenever I was in school. I don't know why. Tuesdays just had like a nice ring to it. You were like in the zone of school and excited to study. I don't know, I was anyway. Today I am gonna start with answering, <laughs> I'm gonna start with answering some emails and then I'm gonna go to the library in the afternoon, which should be fun. and get started on my dissertation. I'm gonna say that every single day. The day I start writing it, I'm gonna pour myself a glass of wine. So it might be tonight, who knows? Apparently we're doing tequila. <laughs> Okay, we are off to the library. I was gonna get changed out of my sweatpants and then I was like, why would I not wanna be comfy while studying? So, this is the fit. This t-shirt was literally mine whenever I was like eight years old and I cropped it and it looks cute. So, let's go. She's just so empty right now. Welcome to Trinity.
it's her bag. Got a summer roll dumpling set up. All vegan, because we're still veganuary. in veganuary. Um, but I think I might, I'm, I might, I'm a butcher the summer roll recipe a little bit. No. Yeah. Improvisation. Improvisation. She's got friends. <laughs> Probably be over by the time this is up. <laughs> but go to Fit Gym and support them. This is us nicest Dublin gets at this point. It's warm, like look at me. Oh my word. I love this door. She's so cute. I have the library book for this afternoon, but I'm just gonna make some avocado toast for breakfast. There's some things in life that you need to treat yourself with and water and salt is the shit. Cheers. Not me changing outfits basically for the library. Um, but I wanted to wear my new hoodie. It's so cute and comfy. Love the colors. And then all black everything else. Excuse the messy room. Let's get steady. <laughs> You tell 